the world of Pokemon leaks is going crazy right now because we may have just gotten one of our largest leaks yet. We may now know what all the gym leaders look like for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Let's get started. Hey Pokemon fans, my name is Blaine, welcome back to Bridge 4 Games. So yeah, the last, you know, kind of 24 hours have been really crazy for Pokemon leaks. There has been a lot covered, and it's just something I really want to share with you guys. Now, you know that generally I don't like covering leaks unless they're verifiable, they're interesting, all that good stuff. But honestly, over the course of the last day, we have had a very reliable leaker give us a ton of information, and then another reliable leaker went ahead and did a giant Q&A, and we're going to be covering all of that right now. Now, again, guys, try to keep in mind, even though these leakers are very reliable and have been ones that we've covered before on the channel, you know, obviously take all of this with a grain of salt because you never really know what's going on out there, but a lot of very prominent, you know, people in the community who bring you these kind of leaks think that this is very, very legit, and it's something I really wanted to share with you guys because this is potentially really huge news and is really one of our first looks at the region because we haven't seen that much of the characters we've seen a bit in the trailers but really nothing too in depth and we may finally have that now so we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna show you guys everything we have so far but before i do i just want to take a second to ask that if you like the videos we have here on the channel please make sure that you actually like them by hitting that thumbs up button and of course consider subscribing to the channel to become part of our amazing pokemon community because it really does help us out and you'll make sure that you never miss any of the awesome videos just like this one so that being said guys we're gonna go ahead and hop over to twitter and reddit where all this awesome information is waiting for us to take a look at it all right so now first up these are all coming from at pkmn leak over on twitter uh so these are potentially some of our gym leaders for the region now we don't have names or typings or anything like that but we do have their images and what i thought was really interesting honestly so and Pokemon Leak is somebody who's brought us some reliable information in the past before, and they also have some sources who are believed to be kind of on the inside, like Riddler Koo, things like that. So again, I realize these are like potato quality, and I also realize that, you know, we don't know, we don't have a lot of the context for what these guys look like, you know, we just kind of have random face in random room. But again, it's kind of interesting to take a look at because this is getting a lot of attention because of how legitimately this is presented so up here in the lower or in the upper uh left hand corner we have what looks like a girl in like a mech suit so i don't know what that's supposed to be i could see it being like bug or being like steel um she kind of looks like maybe it maybe like a fashion thing too because we've kind of seen that before um very interesting to see it could also be i mean she looks grown up but it could be like a kid in like a suit trying to be bigger or something like that which is kind of interesting and then we have number two here, this guy who's a bit of a silver fox. He's got gray throughout his hair. I mean, I like how this guy has kind of a face like uh, Molane, or not Molane, Nanu. Who's the guy from Sun and Moon, like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon 2, who like, uh, he was the dark type, um, you know, Kahuna, and he just could not be bothered to, you know, do anything. Awesome, kind of like that. I like that personality. And then we have a guy here who looks kind of pompous. He kind of looks almost a little more like Elite Four-esque, not Champion-esque because he's not unique enough for that, but interesting nonetheless. Um, but then we see down here these three characters. Now, the two on the right, like the, the right one and the middle one, absolutely look like gym leaders. Like, you know, the one in the middle has got like a Koga thing going on with the face mask. And I'm getting real vibes of like Crash or Wake or like Bryce on the right-hand side, maybe like an Ice Leader. The one over here on the left looks maybe like an NPC or just like a... Maybe like another kid in your school. She looks very young relative to what she's supposed to be. So, you know, obviously I get that there's a lot of things here that look kind of, you know, sus. That being said, a lot of people, again, still think this is very a big deal. So, you know, because of that, I did want to share this with you guys because I thought it was really groundbreaking stuff. That being said, I don't know what this, like, MS Paint, like, gold sandpaper stuff is here. Um... Obviously, it was done after the fact, but then there's some here that was done, like, before. So, maybe he's trying to, like, hide some info, and then he blurred it? Because, I don't know, because over here on these, it's not blurry. So, I don't know what that means, um, but again, something I really wanted to share with you guys, because I thought it was really important to bring this to you, because I thought it was really, really interesting that we've gotten a leak of this caliber from someone who's pretty reliable. Now, that being said, we also have this image here. You know, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's supposed to be an NPC or your rival or whatever. Um, but again, another character brought to us. Same potato quality. Not really sure why that's the case. But again, it is what it is. And then that's going to bring us over to this image here, 
which was included. Now, this is allegedly the third legendary Pokemon. Now, I don't know how reliable that is. The one thing I do like here, if you remember at the end of the last Scarlet and Violet trailer we got, there was a lot of, like, crystals at the end or something like that, which we're seeing represented here. Now, they did give us a sort of larger image of what this Pokemon looks like, but I want you guys to keep in mind there are... There's some things about it I find to be a little problematic. So right here, it's kind of like... It's got like a nebby face and then like a skull and crossbones on top. Now, I happen to know Japan is kind of weird with their media. What they'll allow to be seen. A lot of times they have big issues showing stuff where it has like skulls on it or stuff like that. There's actually a very famous Magic the Gathering card that had a skull on it. They had to change it for wide release to Japan because they didn't want that art to be shown. It's a, it's like a death kind of fear culture thing. I don't know exactly what it is. If you guys know what I'm talking about, leave it in the comments below. So, I don't know, because we've seen skulls on things like Mandibuzz, you know, and, and things like that, so it's possible. But again, just something I want to bring up. It's, it's interesting. I'm not really sure how I feel about this design. I think it would be better if we see it not potato quality. But over here on the left-hand side, apparently this image with this these purple like um spike things is something else we're going to talk about in a minute um uh, and it's actually shown here incorrectly it needs to be rotated so we'll talk about that in just a second but that's going to take us over to central leaks now look i know that central leaks there's a lot going on with him and like the riddler coup problems and all that look i don't care central leaks gets all his information from a lot of different sources and yeah, it's not original information, but he compiles it very nicely. So look, you know, I, I realize again, not the best leaker, not the best source. But again, all of his information is collated kind of really nicely. So that's really why we're using him. Okay, good. All right. So it says here, what do you think about the Gen 9 leader designs? Um, they are good, which a lot of people seems to think. Now, the first thing that he's covering here that we also got from the same source is that evolved form of our um, little Pokemon there whose name I cannot remember? Palmy. Palmy is its name. So people are saying this is the evolved form of it. I don't know. You know, obviously Centro is presenting it. So interesting. Uh, his source also says there will be DLC for the games, which is really, really cool. Um, again, he's saying now there are three cities, nine towns in the region. Three to five hundred Pokemon in the regional decks. That's, that's quite a swing. Um, but... It is what it is. It says Garchomp is in the game. And then, um, whatever this means, six starter Pokemon, M3, F3. Uh, okay. Don't know what that means. If you guys know, let me know. Um, so we see in here, new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leaks. Um, some of these are about the Pokemon that we're going to cover in a minute. So let's just kind of set that aside. What's now believed here is that this image is actually part of the evolved form of Sprigatito. Um, you know, and he... Central kind of drew in a doodle to kind of suggest this. Um, but I don't know. I think it'd be interesting. It does look like it's still quadrupedal. So at the very least, I would really appreciate that. I don't know why it went blue from green. That's a little strange to me. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. They're also saying here there are four pseudo-legendary Pokemon. Oh, it's not four pseudo-legendary Pokemon. It's a group of four legendaries. So, I guess there are going to be some legendaries that are like the birds or the cats. That's pretty, you know, normal. We get those in pretty much every game. And then we also have here that in Japanese, the, the region is called Paldia. Uh, it stands for Pokemon plus Aldea. Uh, it means village in Spanish. And Mega Evolutions are not back. Again, we don't know. That's, again, what Centro is bringing us here. But that's pretty much all the new information we have from him. But now I want to take you guys into the big, like, meat and potatoes of all this. Over on uh, Reddit... The leaker who did all this actually dropped a Q&A and did like kind of an answering session. And a bunch of guys over on Reddit have compiled it all together to actually go ahead and give us like kind of an overview of everything that was asked and answered. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now, going back to the top here, the guy is named Kao, a lot of zeros and O's or Kaka. So um, there's that. Go ahead. Um, but as we can see here, the things that we found out from his Q&A... So apparently Murkrow is in the game and has a new evolution. Because we know we have Haunchcrow. So I don't think they're saying Haunchcrow is in the game. So maybe it gets like a branched evolution, which would be interesting to say the least. 
Regional deck's more than 400. So again, somebody did ask if the size was more than 400. The guy said yes. So that's very interesting as well. And that says um, no other gen starters in the game. No Mega Evolution. I mean, I think that's pretty safe. Just no Mega Evolution at this point is probably going to be the standard. Um, we know the Japanese region name. Um, Dunsparce Evolution confirmed. Uh, doesn't fly. I don't know, man. Like, every time I see Dunsparce come up, I feel like it's it means the leak is not credible. But again, this is the leaker who a lot of people like Pokemon Leaks or even Centro get a lot of their information from, as well as like Eclipse. So... I don't know. It's it's very interesting he's bringing that up. I mean, it is possible after, like, Gen 7s and 8, like, everybody wanted something with Dunsparce, so maybe Pokemon's just saying, the heck with it, we'll give it to you. Um, Squovit line is in. Boo! I hate Squovit. I hate Greedon. Um, Sprigatito uh, evolution is called So-So in terms of cuteness, which, like, I mean, that ties into kind of the leak we saw because it's you know, kind of cute. Uh, apparently, there's a lot of new Pokemon. Houndour line is in. No new Pokeballs. Um, the Weezing line is in. Um, Fococo is similar to an alligator. Obviously, there's a dolphin Pokemon. A new fire type besides starter. Um, the blue hair gym leader is a male. Teddy Urse is in the game. Komala is in the game. No evolution. Still just the uh, sleepy boy there. Um, I'll say again, there are four semi legendaries or, you know, um, sub legendaries. Rotom is in the game. Not all the Hisuian forms are in the game, which that would make sense to me, obviously, because like we, you know, we Pokemon has said before, look, we know there's not going to be all 900 and whatever Pokemon in the game. We know that for a fact. And we know that because Pokemon has just outright said it in the past when the whole, you know, Dexit thing was going on. They were telling us all the time that, hey, this is going to be how things are going forward. We're going to have Pokemon... Some can be in the region, they'll get their time to shine. Again, others won't. It's just kind of how it's going to be. I don't want to get into that argument here. I don't really think it's worth it. But it's just the way things are. So when people are kind of predicting that, it, it's kind of a, a bit of a softball, if you want me to be honest with you. Um, but that being said, you know, it's interesting. But again, it makes sense that they may not include all of them. Because we just got them, right? On top of that, Woobat, not in the game. Don't care. Uh, the red hair, uh, rival is a girl. Okay. Yeah, rival being a girl is pretty cool. Um, obviously, we haven't had that really since, what, Gen... I mean, we had kind of like our semi-rival in Gen 6, right? And then Gen 7, we had Hop. Gen 8, we had, um, that person who I can't recall right now. Oh, uh, um, Hop. Yeah, it was Hop. So then in Gen 7, it was what, How? How and Hop. Original. But yeah, so, okay. I, I like that, having, a. You know, they're switching it up. They're going back to different ideas. I think that's pretty cool. Um, Sunfloor is in the game. Gooder's in the game. There's an Eevee quest to get an Eevee. No new fossils. That's kind of a bummer because we haven't had them in kind of a while. I mean, we had... I I'm not counting the fossils we got in Gen 8 because they, were they weren't just normal fossils. They were kind of those cobbled together, you know, Frankenstein monstrosity things. I think they're cool. But again, I, I was hoping for new ones, but it's okay. Mr. Viss is in the game. No two canon. Um, there's not five forms for Coridon Miradon. So those are our legendaries. Um, we know they probably are going to have multiple forms because they look like a motorcycle. Um, but we don't know in what context that is. So who knows? Uh, there's a Flamingo Pokemon. Um, and the, uh, champion is female. And then, so they asked if the champion was female and the answer was half yes, half no. So it could be that we're, that we're looking at double champions. Alternatively, we could be looking at a situation where, as we know, there are two different professors. So either you could have a male and female champion um, corresponding to your game, or the professors could be the champions. It's not unheard of. I mean, you had to face, um, what was it, Professor Kukui back in Sun and Moon when you became champion. So, like, why not? You know, anything is possible, really. Especially if we have, like, the past storyline with the um, female professor. Um, like, if there's not a champion yet, you know, she'll be like, well, I mean, like, I gotta test ya. Um, Vivillian's not in the game. Vivillian, unsure. And Minier, not in the game. I'm hoping we get Viv Vivian, whatever its name is, because it really will help out with those form dexes, uh, be getting all the wing patterns. And by the way, guys, I am gonna have a video on how to complete your form decks coming up soon, so keep an eye out for that. And then, just kind of a last little bit of recap here. 
Um, kind of everything we talked about. Apom is not in the game. No new things for Delibird. Nobody cares. Um, ho -Oh and Lugia don't have new forms. And then he did say the champion being half yes, half no on female. But the last thing I really wanted to bring you guys and leave you with was this final tweet that we got from um, Centro. So it says here, looks like Wigglytuff may be getting a regional form. Uh, it has not been explicitly, st explicitly stated, but the new gimmick, you can transform any Pokemon into a crystallized look by using a new item that is like a ball that Nimona gives you. So don't know who Nimona is. That's pretty dope, though. And, you know, your Pokemon may be, may be able to change form, get like a stat boost. It feels almost like um, Mega Evolution Lite or, you know, the Diet Mega Evolution. So who knows? Very cool. I am excited to see that Centro is bringing us to this th to, to us, though, because, you know, again, I know he does not have a 100% accurate rating and I know he does not do all this stuff originally himself. All that being said, he still is fairly reliable, and I'm really excited that there's, you know, all this information he's bringing us, because at the very least, it kind of passes that initial sniff check, and it's closer to being real than not, which I think is really, really awesome. So, that being said, everybody, that's all the leaks I have for you today. Lots and lots covered. Again, we do have these awesome, awesome gym leaders here. We are finally able to see. I'm really hoping they're real, because it'll give us a lot of, kind of, ideas about what's coming. I think it's really, really cool. But again, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about all this. I want to hear from you. I want to know, do you think it's real? Do you think it's BS? Whatever. Tell me. Let me know. But again, for me, I'm really excited that something is coming to us that's at least credible enough for me to cover it. So that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And again, let me know what you think down below. All right, so there you have it, guys. That is all the leaks and information we have for you today. Now, I realize that, you know, this isn't 100% confirmation. All this is going to be in the game, and you guys should be taking it as such. But that being said, it's so cool to see very reliable sources bringing us this information because, you know, I always get so hyped about the new games, and I love sharing all the hype with you guys and showing you what's going to be coming out in just a couple months. I mean, we are now in July, so that means only August, September, October, November. We are four months away from those new games being in our hands, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. We are going to be getting so many leaks very, very soon, and I am so excited to share all of that with you guys. And so that being said, everybody, I've been Blaine for Bridge 4 Games. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. Again, if you did like the video, please make sure that you actually like it by hitting that like button. And of course, consider subscribing to the channel to make sure that you never miss any of the awesome videos like this one. And by the way, it really helps us out a lot. So thank you so much in advance. So that being said, everybody, please remember that the best Pokemon games are the ones that you love to play and the proper ways to play them. I'll hire you have the most fun. Again, to all of our amazing viewers watching over in Ukraine, please stay safe. Remember that you are always in our hearts and our minds. We are with you. We want to make sure you guys get through this safely. And as always, I hope each and every one of you watching have a happy, epic, awesome, and amazing day. And I will see you in the next video. See you around. Bye-bye.